The submission of Prince Dipo Negra to General de Kock is an oil painting on canvas painted by Nicolas P. Enemann between 1830 and 1835. It depicts, from a victorious Dutch colonial perspective, the capture of Prince de Ponegoro in 1830, which signalled the end of the Java War. Description The painting depicts the capture of Prince de Ponegoro, a Javanese noble and major leader in the Java War by Lieutenant General Hendrik Merkus de Kock on 28 March 1830. The arrest is portrayed from a Dutch colonial perspective, with de Ponegoro abandoning his followers and submitting peacefully to a confident de Kock as the Dutch flag flies high above the Lieutenant General's home. De Ponegoro stands a step below de Kock, who is pointing towards the carriage which will take the guerrilla leader into exile. De Ponegoro's soldiers leave their weapons on the ground, following their leader's submission, some throw themselves to the ground in front of him, all appear submissive to the Dutch power, in what the art historian Werner Krauss describes as recognition that, de Kock's stern action is for the best of the Javanese, and that poor General de Kock had no choice but to send Pandarin de Ponegoro away just like a loving father has to send a misguided son away in order to teach him a valuable lesson. This oil painting on canvas measures 77 by 100 centimeters. History De Ponegoro, a descendant of the sultans of Yogyakarta, was passed over several times for ascension to the throne. In 1825, after declaring himself for a two adul and his enemies infidels for their LAX practice of Islam, he began a war against the reigning sultan and the Dutch colonial government. In the five-year struggle that followed, which was waged over much of central Java, over 200,000 Javanese and 15,000 Dutch soldiers were killed. On 28 March 1830, with most other guerrilla leaders captured, de Ponegoro was invited to come to Lieutenant General de Kock's home in Magellan to negotiate an end of hostilities and guaranteed safety of passage. There, after three hours, de Ponegoro was arrested. He was exiled to Makassar, Sulawesi, where he remained until his death. The submission of Prince Dipo Negara was commissioned by de Kock or his family. The artist, Nicolas P. Enemann, never went to the Dutch colony in the Indies, and thus it is unclear how upon what he based his depictions of the area around de Kock's home or the faces and other physical features of those depicted. Indeed, the Javanese soldiers appear more Arabian than indigene. It is possible that P. Enemann was inspired by sketches by de Kock or his adjunct, Major Francois-Victor Henry Antoine Ridder de Ster. This painting was held by the de Kock family, until it was donated to the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam on 29 January 1907 by F. L. W. de Kock. Between 1 December 1993 and 31 March 1994, it was a part of an exhibition of colonial art in Hardawijik. In 2014, it was on display in Room 1.17 of the Rijksmuseum. De Ponegoro's capture is the subject of another painting, The Arrest of Panjaran de Ponegoro by the Javanese nobleman Raiden Sala, which was completed in 1857 and presented to King William III, opposed to the submissive and beaten de Ponegoro of Pienman's painting. Sala depicts him as an angry and defiant man who is struggling to control his emotions, on par with or even having more power than de Kock who is positioned on the left or female side. The author Susie Prochke describes both P. Enemann and Sala's works as two of the best-known history paintings from the Indies. Works cited. D. Ponegoro. MSNN Carter. Archived from the original on 31 October 2009. Retrieved 31 October 2009. Krauss, Werner. Raiden Sala's interpretation of the arrest of Deep Onogoro, an example of Indonesian proto-nationalist modernism, Archipel 69, 259-94, Levy, S.H., Het Vaderlandsch Gevel, The Sense of Fatherland, 
Amsterdam, Rijksmuseum, OCLC 4,384,099, Prochki, Suzy, Images of the Tropics, Environment and Visual Culture in Colonial Indonesia, Verhandlingen van het Koninklijk Instituut Vortaal, Land en Volkenkunde 270, Leiden, KITLV Press. ISBN 9781-299-78406-2, Rajaram, Prem Kumar, Ruling the Margins, Colonial Power and Administrative Rule in the Past and Present, Hoboken, Taylor and Francis, ISBN 9781-317-62107-2, The Arrest of Depot Negra by Lieutenant General Baron de Kock. Rijksmuseum, archived from the original on 10 October 2014, retrieved 10 October 2014.